Magic Sam was one of the foremost proponents of the West Side Chicago blues style. Um, and that West Side sound, which includes Sam, Otis Rush, uh, earlier on Buddy Guy, um, and some others, really is one of the defining sounds of my own playing. Uh, part of that is because I grew up in New England and Luther Guitar Jr. Johnson from Chicago, who had been in Muddy Waters band and played with Sam earlier, very Sam-influenced player. He was living in the region I was living in. And Ronnie Earl was also uh, in that area when I was growing up. He's another very Sam-influenced player. So growing up in Boston, I became a kid whose favorite music was West Side Chicago Blues. And in fact, uh, I, had a, um, I had a band with a great singer named Mike Ledbetter, and he always called our sound West Side Soul, which is the title of Sam's most popular album. And what that meant to us was the combination of uh, blues and soul music and rawness and passion that we heard in people like Magic Sam and Otis Rush. Um, now, Sam had a, had a style he had a hit with a song called All Your Love, and it was almost like he created his own genre and then wrote a bunch of songs in that genre. And he assembled pieces from different things. Um, there was a Lowell Fulson song called It's All Your Fault, where... There's uh, the vocal melody of Ray Charles' Lonely Avenue. And there's some Jimmy McCracklin stuff where... And Sam put all those together into uh, a context that wasn't really minor or major. You can kind of say that it's a 12-bar blues with minor key one chord and major key four and five, but even that's oversimplifying because he would play major stuff over the one chord as well. Um, but it's a style where the song would have a repeating lick. So uh, all your love goes. That's uh, in the key of B. Sometimes with a trill between hammer-ons and pull-offs between the uh, flat seven and one on the D string. Sometimes then going to the low B on the E string. And that was just one of the versions. There's a song called Easy Baby where the line is more like... So that's uh, bending up from the top three strings at the ninth fret. And one of my favorites is a song called Out of Bad Luck. Which and uh, so Sam put all those things together into something that was uniquely Magic Sam. And if you play any of those grooves to this day, you're playing in the Magic Sam style. Um, now, he had other things he did, and some of those are too complex to get into. Um, but one of my favorites, and I'm just going to show a little bit of it because it doesn't really apply to some of the other things, but it's a boogie he would do called Looking Good. I'm going to put the pick down for a second. What that is, you're in the key of A, and you're, uh, the low strings are doing this repeated thing, and your upbeats with the index finger. You're muting kind of with both hands to get that percussiveness, but if you played it without the muting, it'd be, uh, actually, can I do it? And that line is... Uh, 
sometimes a hammer on. So between those, that boogie style and that kind of uh, semi-minor key, uh, medium-slow blues, those are really uh, sort of the, the things that Sam innovated with. Um, he was great at all kinds of blues styles, played great shuffles, played great slow blues. But if you are focusing on Magic Sam as a player, those are kind of the two things that it's important to know. Um, but my favorite stuff is that, you know, minor-ish, medium-slow blues. Um, and some of the phrasing, the way he would play, he had a way of ending phrases on the seventh of the scale. So, so pretty much straight blues phrasing. But ending on that, as opposed to leaving it there. Also, a very uh, quick, narrow vibrato, which I don't really have, but... It's all B minor pentatonic stuff. some of the building blocks of Sam's style. I'm going to get deeper into that side of it during the performance, that uh, minor, major key, medium, slow blues, but um, just uh, the shape of his melodic phrasing, I thought it was po important to point out that ending phrases on the seven, um, there's sort of a general <laughs> percussiveness to his playing. And sometimes melodic skips. sort of an unusual. So yeah, those are some of the building blocks of Sam's playing. Can't wait to get into more of it.